famous for his unique voice and wonderful style, no one knows where and when Carlos Gardel was born, but he spent his life in Buenos Aires, and we are going to visit the places where he lived and sang. His first home was in 162 Uruguay Street, and there's a sign to remember that he was here from 1893 to 1900. Carlos Gardel, the immortal and wonderful singer that delighted Argentina and the world in the 1920s and 1930s, and still to these days and forever, uh, his recordings uh, will. Well, nobody knows exactly uh, when and where he was born. Uh, someone says uh, in Uruguay, but uh, we don't know for certain. What we know for certain is that in his little ch early childhood, he was in Buenos Aires. And his first uh, home house was in this, on the street, uh, Uruguay Street, uh, was the 162 Uruguay Street. Here we are, 150, because the 162 was here, probably, and they turned it down to build a, a parking. So, let's move to the Carlos Gardel path. Let's move to 1553 Corrientes Avenue. Corrientes, the avenue in Buenos Aires, home of theaters, actors, and show people. Again, in 1553 Corrientes, there is no more the original house, but Gardel lived here until 1914. Then he moved near in 1714 Corrientes until 1918. Now there are shops and the house is gone, but I saw a little record store there. Then he moved to the neighborhood of Abasto. Abasto, this is the neighborhood uh, with the places uh, where young Carlos Gardel first used to sing. The Abasto market was a market for fruits and vegetables. The first market was inaugurated in 1893, then enlarged many times until 1934. That was ultimated with the wonderful Art Deco building that we can see today. On a corner in front of Abasto Market, there was the Orondeman Bar, the first place where is known Gardel ever sang in public. These places are so meaningful to Gardel's life that the metro station here is called Carlos Gardel. Now let's move near to 666 Anchorena. On this area there were public places and Gardel sang in 666 Anchorena. These are the places where young Carlos Gardel used to sing. Back to Abasto Market. Now we are on the streets on the western side of the market. Here Gardel met José Razzano and they were a great singing duo for years. That house was the place of a common friend and they met right there. The place is so meaningful that there's a statue of Gardel and the street or the passage like they say in Spanish is called Carlos Gardel. Let's move in the direction of the city center to Café de los Angelitos, Little Angel's Coffee House, that still exists today. Here for a long period, Gardel and Razzano sang as a successful duo. Café de los Angelitos is still open. Here you can drink, eat, and enjoy musical tango shows. 
back to the vast neighborhood, to the last house where Gardel lived, in 733 Jean Howles Street. This one is preserved and converted in the Gardel Home Museum. Original collectibles, documents, pictures, records, guitar. Gardel Rich saw a great fame that he acted in many films of the era. A tragic plane accident in Colombia ended his life at a still young age in 1935. His tomb, mausoleum, so quiet and visited rest place, is in Buenos Aires at the Chacarita Cemetery. Subscribe, listen to Gardel's songs and check out our videos. Bye bye.